subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel on 10 versus 2018's iphone 10s versus 2018's iphone 10s max on ios 12 we're gonna do a battery stress test drain test this is going to be very heavy use, so it's not going to emulate, you know, a, a light use day, more like an extreme heavy testing here on this video to really get down to see what they can handle. Now, you can see that I do have 100% capacity here for the iPhone 10, the silver model, as I've shown on the channel since last year, 100% capacity still remaining for that boy on the iPhone 10s. We also have 100% battery life here i got the space gray model and we're going to show you the capacity is at 100 percent as well for this device now going over to the iphone 10s max with the largest battery here of the bunch this one does give you 100 percent as well now this one has a maximum battery capacity of 100 percent so they're all totally fair for this battery drain test i want to mention they're all connected to the same exact wi-fi network bluetooth on all of them airdrop i'm leaving on as i tend to use airdrop day to day so you know a lot of times people forget this is even on i've seen multiple users in the past just leave their airdrop on so i'm going to leave that on brightness all the way to the top background app refresh on all applications because a lot of users are going to forget this even exists and leave this on so i'm going to leave that on as well let's unplug these models and get started with our first test so the first one is going to be an hour long streaming of youtube i'm going to begin here on all three and really what we're going to see is how much battery does drain after this first video because video is one of the biggest drains that you can get on your battery not things like social media or just some quick browsing but video really does put a lot of stress under this battery so during this video test keep in mind that the iphone 10s max does have the largest display and it's pushing the most amount of pixels versus the 10s and the 10. i let this video run for about one hour well more like 55 56 minutes the video wasn't technically one hour and you could see that the iphone 10 is sitting at a comfortable 85 percent now that's a little bit less than i would like but again we're stressing the batteries this is not light use this is full brightness background app refresh on bluetooth on everything 86 percent here for the iphone 10s so a one percent lead on 2018's iphone over here on 2018's largest biggest iphone ever what kind of battery life are we getting on the video after that 82 percent so a little bit shocking remember they all have 100 percent battery capacity so everything's fair here the 10s max is lagging behind a little bit right now next thing i want to do is test geekbench and antutu benchmark now these benchmarks do put a serious strain on the cpu and again that's what i'm trying to do is stress these batteries in this battery drain test as real world use can be pretty subjective and it's hard to pinpoint what that is and after a little bit of testing you can see 80 percent on the iphone 10 81 percent on the iphone 10s and we have a 77 percent for the iPhone 10s Max. So still very similar with the 10 and 10s still in the lead. So the next thing I want to do is go ahead and let you know that I'm going to hit the 4K video recording here for about one hour. Now I put it in 4K 30, which is pretty heavy video. You know, it's going to put some strain on the CPU and it's also going to really just make these phones drain quite a bit. So I'll be back when they are done with their video shooting. So that hour is just about up, more like 52 minutes, and 58% is now on the iPhone 10. Let's see where the iPhone 10s is, and the 10s is now in a 4% lead over the 10 at 62%. Now, the iPhone 10s Max is now tied with the iPhone 10s and takes the lead over the 10 at 62%. So the 10s Max is now pretty much even with the iphone 10s so let's continue with our stress test i'm going to play this video over again to see what we do get after more streaming a video and then i'm also going to do some more and tutu benchmarks again i'm just really trying to get to zero on these devices with just some of the heaviest use you can put on these phones and we're going to jump all the way ahead to four hours and that's two hours after our last update and see where we are now i also shot a 4k video at 20 minutes and exported it on each device in 4k 30 fps which was a serious drain on each one of these 
batteries and at four hours the iphone 10 is now sitting at 12 percent so a significant drop off from the last update but that was two hours of heavy use so that's kind of expected 17 percent so a five percent lead on the iphone 10s and the iphone 10s max not even with its low battery indicator yet at 22 percent so the 10s max is now hanging on longer than both of the small guys so more antutu benchmark brings the iphone 10 down to seven percent at four hours and 11 minutes and the iphone 10s at 12 percent after four hours and 11 minutes or so so the 10s is still about a five percent lead or so 17 percent on the iphone 10s max so the max well in the lead over the 10 and the iphone 10s a little bit in the lead over the iphone 10 so what i did here was i played a different video on youtube now this is about a 35 minute 1080p video clip and you can see that after you know 20 minutes or so two percent on the iphone 10 you can see four hours and 30 minutes of super heavy use now remember light use will get you even further iphone 10s seven percent after the same amount of time and the iphone 10s max 13 percent after watching that same video so they're all pretty low and they're all respectively close to each other but the 10s you can see is already definitely going to be a better battery life than last year's iphone 10. within antutu benchmark the iphone 10 is not going to make it through this benchmark is it only had 2% left, but you have to give it props for at least hanging on as long as it did. And it's dead at a total time of four hours and 33 minutes. The iPhone 10 has kicked out. So again, with super heavy use, four hours and 33 minutes is actually quite respectable. Many Android phones, for example, cannot even get that far on their, you know, light use. So four hours and 33 minutes for the iPhone 10, not bad for that size of a phone. Consider maybe an hour or you know hour and a half more maybe even more if you're really a light user so pretty decent battery life there per milliamp hour it's a pretty small battery in the iphone 10. so let's continue on with the iphone 10s and the 10s max is now showing its low battery capacity now remember in this heavy use test you're probably not going to see the claims that the iphone 10s max for example can go an hour and a half more than the iphone 10 the 10s can go about 30 minutes we actually see the iphone 10s die actually 11 minutes after the iphone 10 so actually what i've been thinking since i got the iphone 10s is that it's about the same as the 10 and this test is kind of showing me that here 11 minutes is not a big difference i'm sure under light usage it would still not be a crazy amount more than the iphone 10 so the 10s pretty close to the 10 so if you're gonna get a 10s and you had an iphone 10 don't get it for the battery life it's not really a big update and the winner automatically is the iPhone 10s Max. It now sits at 6%. And this could be a big difference if you know you just need to get on that last train ride home, that last bus ride home, that last, you know, you know, little stretch to get from work to home to get to the charger. The 10s Max might give you that extra bit of juice that you're gonna need to get there as this one significantly outlasted the iPhone 10 and 10s by a good 20 to 30 minutes more and this heavy use now under light use I get about an hour hour and a half more in my real world experience so the 10s max is the winner and probably expected winner of this battery drain test but I think that both of them were actually quite good for being the size they are and battery might not be the main reason to pick these iPhones so the final results are in and like i say the iphone 10 is the pretty good battery life the iphone 10s is definitely an improvement but not a huge improvement you want to get the iphone 10s probably for the camera and some other upgrades like the a12 bionic 